Put your hands behind your head. Now. <laughs> I don't know. Stealing my food seems like you're surely looking for trouble. Keep your hands just like that. Now just cooperate with what I say, and we won't have any issues, and we can go our separate ways after everything's said and done. I don't think I will lower my gun, sir. Now turn around and pick up the zip tie and tie your hands together, and if you make any sudden movements, your pretty little brains will be my new paint and I've been thinking about redecorating. Hello? Are you deaf? Zip tie your hands together or your brains end up my new wallpaper. <sighs> Grab the tail with your teeth and pull. I'm not coming any closer until you're restrained. Tighter. Okay. Now, see that chair in the corner? That's your chair now, and you're about to get real familiar with it. Now go sit in it. Slowly. Okay. Spread your legs so I can zip tie your ankles to the chair. Don't make that face at me. I literally have a gun pointed at you. What are you into this? You some kind of sicko who gets off on being held at gunpoint? This isn't a fucking joke to me. You're a grown ass man in my house stealing my goddamn food. Now wipe that stupid fucking smile off your face. <laughs> do not laugh at me and do not shush me. There aren't any zombies for miles, I know, because I clear the area regularly, and there are scouts in the nearby areas doing sweeps constantly, and they broadcast about large zombie gatherings and their movements twice a day on the local radio frequency. I can't sleep at night if I don't know what's going on, and if a lone one happens to hear it, then I can easily handle it. The only thing you should be worried about is where the next bullet's going because it won't be into my flooring. There. Comfy? <laughs> that I obviously didn't tighten these enough. Oh, don't look so wounded. You have every advantage against me, so I have to take every precaution. Now that you're properly secured and I'm no longer at risk of being attacked by you, I have a few questions. What do you mean by you're not what I should be worried about? Are you alone? Okay, so if you're on your own, why are you in my house taking my food? What did you even grab? Are those- Are you fucking kidding me? That was my last jar of strawberries! I was saving those for my birthday! <sighs> Out of all the things you could have grabbed and stuck your nasty fingers into, it had to be my last jar of strawberries? You have now not only broken into my house, you violated the one thing I was looking forward to in the coming months. <clears throat> <sighs> this horrible realization aside, strawberries could not possibly be worth being this reckless. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen someone do. <laughs> you could not have been that hungry. You don't look starved. You actually look pretty decent compared to some of the poor schmucks I've seen pass through here. Which only serves to confuse me more. Because... Like, what about my house that's well-stocked and is clearly lived in screams abandoned? I even dust regularly. I shouldn't have to write my name on my front lawn so you don't come ransack my pantry. All the windows have bars inside and out, and all the doors were locked. That might mean maybe don't steal my shit, please? How did you even manage to get in? You're joking. You serious? Well, shit. I can't believe I left it unlocked. Okay, I'll give you that one. Christ, that's incredibly embarrassing. Still, what made you think it was a good idea to waltz into a house that you had not cleared? How did you end up here? What are you doing with your life, dude? You don't make it this far without some kind of sense, so I'm incredibly confused. Okay, let me get this straight. Outbreak happens, you stick with this group of not-so-savory people for survival's sake, you skirted by on filling guard duty and grunt work in an attempt to stay away from the shady shit, and when you'd finally been confronted with it all, you refused. <laughs> well, I'm surprised they didn't just kill you. It's kind of dumb on their part if they're just running around the countryside. 
And with some of the stuff you mentioned them doing, it seems a little too merciful, to be honest. Guess you're just really lucky. I'll have to keep that in mind. If you're a good luck charm and not a terrible person, I might just have use for you. But honestly, as horrible as all that is, I'm not even that surprised anymore. People do vile things when they're desperate. Plus, with how you're seemingly prone to wandering into clearly dangerous situations and doing generally not smart things, I can understand their hesitation to keep you around. Not sure on why they didn't kill you, though. They might just be dumb. <laughs> no, I will not give you the benefit of the doubt. You broke into my home and then didn't do a sweep to clear it. I was literally in my living room. I had time to go get a gun, which was nowhere near me. I left it on my bedside this morning because I didn't expect some random asshole to bust into my kitchen and start raiding my pantry. You've... You've never been on your own, have you? Your whole attitude screams, I don't know what I'm doing. At least in a solo situation. Did you have a plan past trespassing into my home, or was that as far as your two brain cells could manage to think ahead? Because you're not even armed, dude. Like, you've either got a group out there armed to the teeth about to bust into my house and slaughter me and take my shit, or you're really this dumb, and I can't tell which is more realistic right now. Because as far as I know, your whole story is bullshit and you're lying, because there's just something about your face that says you're hiding something. Oh, you definitely seem desperate. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you, if that makes you feel better. The gun is more insurance than anything. I just wanted to intimidate you. I didn't mean to spook you. I mean, I did, but, like, sorry, I had to. Anyway, back to my previous question. What the hell's your plan? Do you have somewhere you're going? Because I can give you directions to the nearest settlement if that's what you need. You definitely don't act like you're from around here, and I don't recognize you, so that holds up. Well, listen, there are three communities in the area that are rebuilding. All of them are run by decent groups of people, with a couple hard asses mixed in to keep the peace and enact justice and all that. But communities have jobs. Jobs need workers to fill them. So that's what I'm here for. I run the trading post up the road. I get a kickback of supplies from the communities for each traveler I send their way. They've even got a basic governing system in place now, and they're working on setting up trade routes, and I just happen to be in the middle of them. And you would have known that if you just knocked. I'm usually really nice to people who come by unless they try and rob me. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Don't try and look ashamed now. If you hadn't just barged in, I would have probably given you food and a room for the night and then helped you on your way. I'm not some boogeyman living in the forest waiting for people to stumble into my cabin so I could eat them. Although, I can't blame you too harshly for thinking like that. There's a bunch of cruel weirdos doing things that have gone on for far too long since everything fell apart. But the communities are working together to root out bad people and take in decent folk. We act like humans here. There's enough monsters out there without us acting like them. There's even a couple psychiatrists in one of the towns that specialize in rehabilitating people for socialized living. A lot of people have gone through bad things, so I can kind of see where you might have been coming from, but that's still not an excuse. So, does any of that sound good to you? Not ready for another group setting, but not able to fend for yourself. It's quite a pickle you're in, and it's starting to sound like a whole bunch of not my problem. Listen, take the night to think it over. I have a date with a book and a glass of wine that was very rudely interrupted. If you can stay quiet for a couple hours while I try and finish it, I might give you something to eat. So sit, stay, and be a good boy. Why are you squirming like that? You're not going to be able to get out of those. They're industrial strength. They're pretty much the only thing holding this house together. That and duct tape. Oh, well, I don't want you to piss on my good chair, but I don't exactly trust you, so I'm bringing the gun. Okay, let me cut your ankle once and we can head outside. <sighs> Alright, you first. I'm not about to turn my back to you now. Okay, stop. Here's good. Don't just stare at me. Turn around and do your business. 
I'm more than sure you can handle peeing with your hands zip tied. How do you know if you don't at least try? God, fine. Stand there and piss yourself. But I'm making you sleep on the floor if you do. You're not crawling into my guest bed covered in pee. My bedroom has three deadbolts that lock from the inside. I'd be more than safe even if you were a threat, which doesn't really seem like you are anymore. No, I'm not cutting your zip ties. <laughs> because this is funny. And also, I'm being safe about it. Listen, we can sit and debate if you're evil or not, but that doesn't matter to me. You seem like you were hungry and panicked, so you didn't think. You just ate, and I'm not cruel enough to just let you sleep in a super uncomfortable chair. Plus, you'll be handcuffed to the bed frame. <sighs> Don't groan about it. I'm not making you sleep in the chair, at least. I'm not a monster. Now, hurry up and piss. It's cold out here, and I don't like being out in the open at night. <sighs> Fine. I'll turn around. But don't run into the woods. The trackers keep tracks out there for zombies that slip into the area under their radar. I'm talking like pitfall traps, the little hoop kind that pull you up in the air. Net traps. Nothing lethal, but you'll be up there for a few hours at the least. And if a zombie came through and got you while you were defenseless, there wouldn't be anything you or I could do. I'm under specific instructions to not mess with zombie traps. So... As a warning, if you're thinking about running, don't. Don't gripe at me for over-explaining things when you've already proven you don't know how to clear a house. You'd probably run straight into a trap and get eaten. I'm just trying to make sure you don't die since you can't do it for yourself. Oh my god, just pee already. Please, my fingers are going numb. I'm not looking, I swear. Just pee already. Jesus. <sighs> Finally. You'd think with how much you were wiggling around in your chair, you could have done that a little faster. Mm, no. I call bullshit on you being bladder shy. I think you just wanted to see me freeze half to death. <sighs> it's much warmer in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you your room since it's late and I want to go to bed. It's just this way. Follow me. Uh, sorry if it's a little dusty, but you'll have pillows and a couple blankets at least. Ah, yes. That is in fact a very big stain on the floor. Had a guy get too aggressive one night. I found him in the woods unconscious. And, well, when he woke up, he panicked and managed to break the handcuffs and was in the process of beating down the door. Turns out, he was not a good man. Managed to actually break the door and get his hands on a kitchen knife, and it was very much a struggle, but he ended up decorating the floor, and I got a cool new intimidating face scar. I put locks on my own door after that, but that's that, and as long as you don't plan on trying to kill me in my sleep and break my house, you have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and get comfy. I'm just gonna secure this. I have the key and a spare stash, so don't worry. You're not going to be stuck here forever, even if I lose this key. I'm going to cut the zip tie so you have some mobility, now that I know you can't really do much. Plus, I genuinely don't think you're that much of a threat. I'll be back in a little bit. Just give me one second. Ta-da! Strawberry preservatives for both of us, plus some bread I made yesterday. I figured since you were so desperate for food, I should probably feed you, and I managed to scrape all the parts you touched out of the jar, uh, and there's no use letting them go to waste now, since it's the last jar for a while. Here, use a spoon to spread it on the bread so that we can both have some. Cool, cool, cool. I, uh, I appreciate you being so cooperative about all this. I know I didn't give you much choice, but you're pretty chill. Also, I'm sorry for forgetting to feed you. I was mostly just trying to calm down after I zip-tied you to the chair. You really scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Don't say that. You were pretty intimidating, shoving strawberry preservatives in your mouth at mock speed with this blank look in your eyes. Replace the strawberries for body parts, and you'd have looked just like a zombie. I, um... I'm sorry if I scared you before, too. Just, I have to be cautious. As much as I like to talk the area up, scary stuff still happens. But it's almost normal if you squint. Seeing humanity be displayed frequently still gives me hope, though. 
It's really beautiful what they've managed to build here. And it took a lot of time, too. The peace treaty is pretty new, though. Right now, we're all recovering from a turf war. There used to be four factions, but the others found out that there was some sus shit going on in the fourth's research facility, and they banded together to stop it. A lot of people died. Good and bad. But everything's smoothed over now. It's been about six months since then, and everything's been really calm, so this whole debacle has just shaken me up a bit. Why do you look so guilty? It's not like any of it's your fault, other than wandering into my house haphazardly. <laughs> Listen, it was an unfortunate situation, and we're both still alive and able to enjoy the strawberries, so no hard feelings? Again, the handcuffs are just a precautionary measure for my peace of mind. Uh, but now that we've picked out and you're comfy, I think I'm going to turn in for the night. Don't worry about anything creepy crawling into your window. The steel bars were made by a metal worker in one of the towns. Cost me several weeks of scavenging. Well worth it, though. Uh, but yeah, good night and uh, sleep tight. I'll see you at dawn. <laughs>